Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to the Scrum Creation Kit Tutorial video. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our MCM series. If you've not seen the previous videos, then I strongly recommend that you go ahead and check those out first as usual, otherwise you're not going to understand anything that we're really doing. And today's video is going to be covering tool tips. So this is basically where the user can have little snippets of information along the bottom of the MCM system, which is going to explain what options do as they highlight them, because obviously sometimes things aren't all that clear as to what they're actually changing. So it's really dead simple. It's going to be a fairly quick tutorial, so nothing too much to worry about. And then the next video is probably going to be something a little more complicated. So let's get started. Okay, so as usual, I have gone ahead and loaded our test DSP we've been using throughout this series, and I've gone to Character Quest, double click on my MCM Quest, go under the Scripts tab, and edit the source of the script that I've been working on. And if we just scroll down to near enough the bottom, I've gone ahead and added a new event, which is on Option Highlight. And we've got a bunch of if statements here, which are basically just going to check which option is currently selected, if any. And then it's going to place some relevant information along the bottom of the MCM menu. So you can see here it says set info text, packs and unpacks the crates throughout the mod. And I've just got something for each. So tutorials, turns tutorials on and off depending on the player's preference. And it's really, really simple. All you do is just put this line for each of these. And you don't necessarily have to have one for every option. But it's uh, kind of nice too so that none of them are really blank. And it's that, that simple. So I'm just going to go in game now and show you that working. Okay, so here we are in game, and if I just go to our MCM system, test menu, and then we've got cell design, crates, lights, banner style, settings, as you can see, when I'm highlighting each of these, I'm getting the relevant tooltip along the bottom. Dead simple, really nice addition, and it just makes things look a lot more polished and obviously explains a few things to the user if they don't know what various things do. Nice and easy. And if I just go ahead to Kranthita Reborn, I'll show you that it does exactly the same on here as well for various options. Really useful. Just helps explain some things. And that is it for another Creation Kit Tutorial video on MCM systems. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comment section below. In the next video, we are probably going to be diving into something a little more interesting. I think you'll find it's going to be conditions, which is something I showed in the previous video. So, yeah, you can go ahead and follow me on my website at www.darkfox127.co.uk as well as my various social media, which is in the links below and also the website itself. Uh, Facebook's where I post most of my stuff and you can of course go ahead and check out my Twitch streams as well if you want to see things like my mods being developed and also go ahead and follow my Steam group if you want instant notifications of when I do start streaming if that's something that you're interested in and you can of course hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already so thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.